Hi, this is Dr. Hazelwood, and I'm here with Shanna, and we're with the Middell Central Enrollment Office, and we are excited to share with you today what? We are doing our online enrollment through SchoolMet. Boom. And so what we're going to do is walk you through the steps that you need to take to enroll your student for school in Middell next year if, big if, you are a returning student. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. So what do they need to do first? So they will get a notification via email or text to let them know what their username and temporary password will be. Awesome. At that time, they will use their login, which is their email that they provided through their account with their students. Okay. And so then they go to middle.schoolment.net. Correct. On the email that they receive, it will have that link that they will, if they are a returning student, then they will click the link to go to the on our Schoolment online enrollment. Perfect. At the, from there, it will have their, they will put their their email mm -hmm. or their telephone number. So I can their, use my email or my telephone. Correct. Awesome. Yes. And then their temporary password. Okay. So I've already created an account. Once they get there, they're going to click ready, set, go. This green button. It does say on the bottom, if you don't have an account, please sign up first. But if you're if here, you, you've got an account. Correct. Okay. So if you are not here, you have not created the account once you click there this is where they will put their username they can confirm it their password and then they confirm their password and then they'll push this green button let's do this awesome so let's do this all right so we're going to log in I've already created the account so we're going to the ready set go So when I do this, this is like my home homepage then in school. And this is where I'm going to start to do all the things that we're going to do as part of re-enrolling here at Middell. Correct. All right. So once you get into the account, I've already cre I've already gone into this account. So, but what you what they will see when they go in, it will say in returning or non-returning. So if they're going to return back to Middell, they'll click the returning button and that will then take them to the demographic page. Perfect. In this case, we've sort of already, we've been playing around a little bit, so we're gonna continue, Correct. right? Okay. So we're gonna continue. I've already done my demographic page. So this will take you to the student enrollment form, which you will click there. And you will go and make sure everything is correct filling in where the asterisks that is that, that has to be filled out so, so if, a different pieces through here like I've got to put in my students birth date the uh -huh. grade level the age those things need to be in there correct and then you'll confirm that every your, your address is still correct if it has changed you are able to go in there they're able to go in there and change their addresses if transportation that's when they will put whichever one will um, they'll be doing parent pickup, bus rider, um, all the different things. Walker. And does a student have? And then all of these again the, with the asterisks have to be filled out, or it will not go, it won't go and, to the next. And and on IEPs and 504, if your mm -hmm. student is on an IEP or a 504, you will know that as a parent. Correct. So unless you've yes. been notified of that, then those would be known. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then any um, medical. If we need to know anything, you'll list all the medications down here for the student if we're, if they're needing to have anything administered through the school. Um, if any if there's any chronic health conditions, please provide all of that information. Peanut allergy or Correct. something like that? Correct. Okay. Um, then this is just questions if they're active duty military, reserve member, or National Guard. Then once you've completed all of those, then you're just going to sign here with your mouse the best you can. I always hate trying to sign those with my <laughs> mouse. It never looks right. <laughs> so, and then you will go to, to the, the next one. Okay. And this is your parent guardian contact information. Okay. So this is basically who does the student live with? Like if the school is going to contact somebody, this is the very per first person they're contacting Correct. Okay. Yes. So we have plenty, uh, 
plenty listed here. Um, if student lives with mother and stepfather, and you'll just click that. Um, if there's any custody, custody alerts, they will upload those documents here okay. or on the upload screen. So if there is, then once, the, if there is a custody, then if they clicked yes, they would explain and then they can upload it here as well. That document. So Correct. whatever came that, that's by law that says this is what has to happen. Yes. That, if they're, okay. um, the ruling or foster, if right. they're DHS okay. placement. And if not, then you'll just click no. And then if there's any legal documentation as far as showing if the student, if mom, dad, either one has custody of the student that we need to know about. If there is, then they'll click yes and they'll explain here and then on the upload screen then they can put that put all that of file. that information okay. on there right. um, so here we make sure everything is correct if, again this is just all of this is already pre-filled from them already having their information in power school okay um, mm -hmm. if they want to add another second parent or parent guardian they can here if not they'll just click no and then you'll if you, if you click yes, you fill all this in. Correct. Okay. If you if they go ahead and push yes, then they can go ahead and put that second legal guardian on there. Okay. If not, and then on here they will list who is who they will like for them to pick up the student. So like if my uh, if I had a, a, one of the student's uncles mm -hmm. was going to pick up, they would put the uncle here, Correct. or grandparent, or cousin, or right. older sibling, or whatever. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then once you're done here, then we'll go to the next, which is the internet safety. All of these documents have to be filled out. So if not, um, once you go to the end and you submit, it will, if none of these are filled out correctly and all the ones with the asterisks are not filled out, then it will not let you go any further. Okay. So once you sure everything is correct then you can go ahead and sign again Ugh, signing with a mouse <laughs> is hard <laughs> and then you can go ahead and put the school here and, and this is the school that the student will be attending in august correct. of 2021 right mm -hmm. okay in the fall it does it have to be carl albert high school or could they say c-a-h-s like an they can say c-a-h-s okay. if they would like all right and then make sure you click that and then sign again. You're getting better, Shannon. Yes, I'm trying. I think you can kind of get that <laughs> out. <laughs> and then go to the next one. This is a child nutrition. Read over that, make sure everything is correct. Again, it's already pre-filled. parent notification again make sure you read over that and these are all forms that if somebody were to come to the enrollment center they would be filling these forms out anyway Correct. as part of being mm -hmm. a student here at yes. Middell so th we're not asking our our parents to sign anything that we haven't already had no. them do in the past no right. no these are all the um, documents that we do give at during enrollment okay. and the OSIS a lot of Families have a question about the OSIS because some of our students are not are military or they've moved from another state and they're think this is just basically not just to pull the shot records from previous from when they were little and had like shots vaccines and things. Um, but this helps us if something happens and we do have to go in there and have to pull some medical records as far as their shot records okay. and if they've received them even after after they moved here. Okay. So this is just giving us permission to go on to the OSIS and pull those shot records. Okay. So please make sure that that's filled out and signed. And then the medical treatment, this is um, if they have any medical issues. Or, this is like, hey, something happens to you right, while you're at school, too. Right, right, right. So if they have allergies, again, for the peanut allergies, or if they have asthma, they have to carry um, even an EpiPen, or if they have to have their inhaler. Mm, like a rescue um, inhaler. And, and mm -hmm. then prescriptions on if they're taking anything. And then they like for you to provide the doctor's name and phone number. 
um, again that will make sure that is filled out so that um, it does pull over to power school so I'm make sure because all, that all the information we're putting here is going to be used in case of an emergency which Correct. is what we want to be prepared to handle should that happen yes yeah okay. yes and then you put your insurance information if you want I mean it's not an asterisk but so we know then the Indian Ed form now this is the um, still that would be anything we do have those forms here as well. If they are any uh, tribal, any kind of tribe, they will push yes. If they do click yes, it will take them to the form that they need to fill out. And then they would, um, they'll put their tribal enrollment information here and all of their information again here. And then we will take a copy of that and send it over to the proper department for them to reach out to them to give them what they need. So you need all your information. Mm -hmm. like like the number card, and card mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, the okay. C CDIB card number and then if it's no then they'll just click no and go on to the next screen this is the document uploads this is where they're going to upload um, their ID and their two utility bills uh, if they have an apartment then they will upload their lease if they have tinker housing letter this is where they will upload that tinker housing letter as well um, any other miscellaneous documents as far as like the custody paperwork and anything that we need to know, DHS placement or any of that information, then this is the screen that they'll upload those documents. And I can like take a picture of my driver's license and upload it here. Correct. And I can take a picture of my lease and upload it here. Mm -hmm. And I can yes. take a picture of my bills and upload it here. Yes. So I can take a picture of those things. I don't have to scan it. No. No. Like I can. I just need a, an unelectronic copy from somehow. Yes, and okay. just make sure that it's clear. That it's clear. It's that, that we can read it. Right. And that it matches. The, the addresses need to all match. Correct. Okay. If the addresses do not match, then we will reach out via email or text. And and then if they have an IEP, the 504, which we talked about earlier, they can upload that information here. Um, and then if they then can go down to the, the Middell Virtual Secondary. This is if they want to do our Middell on our virtual. They'll, if they click yes, that will take them to the screen where they click and then they can fill out all of that information which that will then send it to the proper department. And this is just for secondary students only? Correct. Okay. On this one. They do have the op option on all of the enrollment for elementary to secondary. Right. But just for this particular Correct. question, right? Correct. Okay. So if my so so if my student is an elementary student, this question then does not apply to me, but all the other questions do. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once you are finished, if you haven't, if they get to this document upload screen and they don't have, if they don't have any of their utilities or their ID, or if they've only uploaded their ID and one utility and they still need to get one other utility, make sure they you go save and continue later. If you just click out, then it doesn't save any of that information. Then you have to go and do it all over again. Okay, we don't want to do that. No. So, so save and continue later. Probably Correct. save every now and then would yes, be a good idea. Yes. Okay. So like I haven't uploaded anything, so I'll save and continue later. If they are done, then they would click the Submit Forms button. Correct. And then that will then give us a notification that it's been completed once we go in and start doing our making sure everything is correct and we have everything that we need for re-enrollment, everything's filled out, all of our documents are, all the documents are uploaded. They will then get a verification saying that it's been verified. So I'm... So I've been verified in enrollment. Does that mean I'm enrolled? Yes. So that means I'm good to go for You're school. You're good to go. Okay. Now, um, for secondary, again, they will continue to look on the website as far as their, each school that they're enrolling in to see what their, so like elementary has to meet the teacher night. Um, their school supplies list will be all be on, listed online. So they can go, go ahead and go on there to see if it's been up loaded on there. As far as secondary, um, I know that the high schools, you'll need to reach out to the schools 
you can they cannot go on schedule pickup day because the or they can't they do have a schedule pickup day sorry these are for the new students will not have a schedule pickup day re-enrollment students have schedule pickup days and it's already on the website on the school website yes okay so um so any questions in about like who your teacher is and when to do that that is now once you get your verified mm -hmm. then the next step is to look at the school website for schedule pickup day meet the teacher day correct all that kind of stuff yes okay? and School supply list. And school supply mm -hmm. list for elementary students. For Yes, All that's right. correct. And if they have any questions, they're, you're more than welcome to reach out to the Central Enrollment Center at 405-582-7095 or via email at enrollment at mid-del.net. Awesome. Thanks, Shannon. You're welcome. Thank you.